Hey guys, it's Teelus here. Welcome back to Temple of the Five Dawns. I am here to bring you the changes to a Mistweaver monk coming in World of Warcraft Legion. It's been quite a while since we were at Temple of the Five Dawns. The last time we were here, I do remember telling you that I would not do one at night. However, there are a lot of things with Mistweaver that I really need other uh, subjects in order to show you exactly what's going on and so I was kinda waiting for more of a prime time uh, to be able to show off what was going on however um, as the time went on through the day uh, nobody really shows up around here so I really don't have any subjects to use there are no healing target dummies for me to display on so that's gonna cause me uh, to take probably some field trips over to Dalaran to uh, take some test subjects out and we can uh, show off some examples of some of these new monk abilities. So, this is going to be a two video series. In this first video, I'll be looking at the removed abilities and changed and new abilities coming to a Mistweaver monk in World of Warcraft Legion. And then, in the second video, I'll be looking at the PvE and PvP talents. Also, in this video, I forgot to say, I will be looking at the artifact weapon as well. Uh, it's actually pretty kind of cool. It's got this... Uh, it's this uh, staff with this bell on the top. I don't know how that bell is just uh, standing there uh, without uh, gravity pulling it down, but um, it's pretty cool. Anyways, no complaints there. Really cool weapon uh, for a Mistweaver monk. Um, so if you're a Mistweaver monk fan, you know that you have been changed literally ever since they've come out. Uh, they originally came out, and they wanted to test the damage with healing idea and it didn't work out so in Warlords of Draenor they changed it again and they're like okay let's test this uh, you know actually having a damage stance for you to do damage while healing and then on the other side of things we'll have a healing stance um, that will uh, you know be separate from that and will uh, do damage in healing uh, for you or you can you can choose to do just straight healing as opposed to do damage converted into healing and I'm really hoping that this alliance player stays here so I can show you stuff if not we'll still travel to Dalaran um, so basically they never learned their what happened was is they never learned their lesson from blood DK's uh, and frost DK's is that you cannot just make specs you know different depending on what you want to uh, use you know oh I'm gonna talent into this and this will make me a tank uh, it just never worked out. So, this is the third iteration of a Mistweaver Monk. Um, their idea for a damage-based healer has been scrapped, and it is now completely... Um, now, they've given blood. They've given the Blood DK treatment to dis Discipline Priests. So, Discipline Priests are now your damage into healing at character, and now Mistweaver is now a perfect, just healing... Uh, it's completely healing-based now. No longer will you be da dealing damage to do your healing uh, this time around. Um, things will be a little bit different. <laughs> this monk in the back <laughs> just keeps getting wrecked by these uh, these training dummies. He doesn't realize that they're tanking training dummies. <laughs> so um, this poor fellow uh, needs to learn. Uh, take a take a hint. Uh, they're training. They're training dummies up here that maybe he'll find. I don't know. But anyways, uh, this video will be about the removed, changed, and new abilities for Mistweaver Monk, and then we'll get into the PVE and PVB talents for the next um, for the next uh, video, and uh, we'll take a look at them. So, uh, and then at the end of this, we'll look at the actual Mistweaver artifact weapon. Uh, so, before we get into removed abilities, I do need to tell you that she is gone. Uh, she is gone for Mistweaver Monk, very much like Holy Power is gone for a Holy Paladin. Uh, Blizzard has decided that if you are going to be a, if you're going to be a healer, you need to just deal with mana. And they're making healers, they're trying to make us that healers are the only ones that deal with mana, and that is their entire intent. That is what they want to do. Um, there he goes, dying again. <laughs> this guy's cracking me up. Uh, so you no longer have to deal with cheat, and so everything regarding that requires cheat or generates cheat, that's all been removed. I'm trying, I will try to label them as we go throughout. Uh, the changed abilities, but uh, do take note of that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go into the removed abilities for a Mistweaver Monk, and there's a lot here. Detonate Chi has been removed. That was the ability that would, you know, detonate all your healing spheres all around. Basically, the whole healing sphere idea of a monk has been removed from the game. 
uh, they've decided that it really kind of stinks and it's not worth it. And I kind of agree with them. So it is now gone. Uh, Expel Harm has been removed completely from Monks uh, altogether. It is nowhere to be found on Monks. That is now gone. Fortifying Brew has been removed as well. Uh, it's now uh, subject to Brewmasters only. They've decided to make Brewmasters the Brew Kings. So anything that was a type of brew or whatever has basically been moved off into Brewmaster. Jab has been removed. Basically, Tiger Palm is kind of taking its place. If you watch the Windwalker Monk video, if you didn't watch it, just know that Jab is gone. You'll no longer be using it. Legacy of the Emperors is gone. Legacy of the Emperors was something that was a, a straight stat buff. Uh, Raid-wide buff. Raid-wide buffs have been removed. Originally, Raid-wide buffs were interesting because certain classes had it, and so you had to very carefully craft your, your raids. Um, if you remember, there used to be really cool like raid calculators to make sure that you got all the raid buffs or as much as possible, depending on the different specs you had, and that is now gone because uh, in an effort to make sure that no class was left behind, no spec was left behind, Blizzard started just handing out raid buffs left and right, and then once you have so much overlapping, it's just pointless to keep them. So, that is why, like I say, the Emperor's is gone. Manatee has been removed. It is now a talent available to monks in uh, World of Warcraft Legion. Nimble Brew has been removed. This is kind of crippling for uh, Mist Weavers. Uh, it really kind of stinks not having Nimble Brew anymore. It really hurts for, for Windwalker monks as well. So it stinks to not have it, but it is now gone. Spear Hand Strike has been removed for Mist Weavers only. So only Windwalkers and Brewmasters have that now. Mist Weavers are not intended to be a melee, to have that melee interrupt. So they removed that from Mist Weavers. On top of that, uh, Stance of the Spirited Crane is gone. So your stances are gone. Stance of the Spirited Crane and Stance of the Wide Serpent. They removed stances across the board. So Stance of the Fierce Tiger over on Windwalker. Stances on uh, arm on uh, Warriors, with the exception of Arms. They have a talent to give them their a little bit of stance dancing back. Uh, stances on uh, Presences on DKs. Chakras on Priests. All of them have been removed. Basically, the idea is that Druids should only be the, quote, Stance dancing or stance switching character in the game because they are the, the shapeshifters so they should be that everyone else it's been removed summon jade serpent statue is now a talent it has been removed baseline so uh you're starting to see just how much uh monks are starting to be changed here uh they really kind of uh are really kind of getting rid of a lot of core aspects of it uh, so Summon Jade Serpent Statue, which was always kind of a, a, an ability that you needed to have down to maximize your healing, it has been removed. Thunder Focus T is gone in name, uh, sorry, is gone the ability. In name, it lives on. It will be, we will go over it in new abilities, but it is different. Touch of Death has been removed. I believe it is only available to Windwalkers, and it is completely different, I think, if I remember correctly, from my Windwalker video that was so long ago. So, uh, Touch of Death is essentially gone. Uplift is gone. This is another huge, uh, along with, you know, your statue and your stances, uh, this is another huge um, ability gone from monks. So, we're talking about some massive changes here for Mistweaver. They're, they're really doing an overhaul uh, to try and get Mistweavers finally right, a unique healing spec on its own, and I think they finally got it. I think you're going to be really pleased when we finally get to the end of this, but... Uh, uh, it's kind of scary going through these removed abilities and wondering what you're going to have left. Uh, Focus and Harmony is gone. We're getting into the passives here. Uh, Focus and Harmony has has been removed. Jade Mist has been removed. Any any buff that was just a straight buff to a secondary stat or buff to your main stats has been removed from the game overall. So that should not hurt you at all. Focus and Harmony, Jade Mist. Tiger Strikes has been removed. Way of the Monk has been removed. That was the one where you could, like, um, I think that was the 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 passive that was like you know you you do different you do damage better depending on which weapon you have out it, it it basically they just built it in you know you're gonna do the damage the same no matter what no matter your weapon uh, so that was taken out as well and then lastly mastery gift of the serpent is gone as I said the whole healing spear idea of gameplay has been removed and so it will no longer be used. That is all the removed abilities. Uh, there's a lot there that has been removed. It's just been kicked out of the game. Uh, there's no reason for it to be anymore because they have, they're trying to once again create its own unique style 
of gameplay. Now I'm going to start walking around here looking for um, a monk that I can kind of use as a guinea pig. Let's say Blood Elf Monk, so unfortunately I cannot use them. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into the changed abilities here. I'm torn right there. Uh, so first changed ability, Blackout Kick. It no longer costs Chi, and its eminence effects are gone. Uh, considering that Stance of the Wise Serpent and Stance of the Spirited Crane is gone, uh, Stance of the Spirited Crane specifically is gone. Uh, eminence really shouldn't affect any abilities, but I'm just putting it out there. No longer cost Chi. No longer uh, Eminence will affect it. They kept it because they want healers to still have damaging abilities. So, you know, Blackout Kick was a damaging ability that they should still keep, and so they kept it there. Crackling Jade Lightning no longer generates Chi. Um, you no longer have to deal with Chi. No longer costs mana. Uh, and its damage will now deal damage over 3.7 seconds as opposed to 1.4. So it used to do its damage over time. Um, when you would attack a target, it would do damage over time. Now it channels and it, do, it does it over time over uh, 3.7 seconds as opposed to, I believe it was 1.4. So there's a big uh, uh, change there to uh, how long the damage lasts there. Enveloping Mist now costs mana instead of Chi. Uh, all Chi is gone. And then it increases healings from all spells instead of just Soothing Mist. So, I mean, uh, other, I mean, basically it's still the same. It's just you now have a buff overall as opposed to what it was before. Otherwise, Enveloping Mist, uh, straight damage, uh, straight healing buff now applies to everything now instead of just uh, Soothing Mist, which I think is a, it's kind of an upgrade anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Life Cocoon, its cooldown has been increased from 2 minutes to 3 minutes, so you now have a 3 minute cooldown on Life Cocoon, otherwise it stays essentially the same. Renewing Mist, a lot of changes here, a lot of changes here. No longer generates Chi, which obviously Chi is gone. It lasts from 20 seconds up from 18 seconds, so that's an enhancement that you got in Warlords of Drainer that is now baseline. It will only jump if when it heals a target at maximum health. So the whole idea before was to spread your Renewing Mists all over the place, and then they would jump to all these different targets, and then you'd uplift, and you'd have great uh, AoE healing potential. That's no longer the case. Um, now, Soothing Mist will only jump when a target reaches maximum health. So if, let's say the last, let's say Healing Mist, you have 10,000 health missing on your health bar, and Healing Mist heals you for 20,000 health, okay? It will heal you for that 10,000, and then it will jump, okay? Let's say you have 0% on your bar, and you toss a Renewing Mist out, uh, it will immediately jump. Uh, when it tries to heal you, it will immediately jump to another ally that actually needs healing. So it will always jump to a target uh, away from the target when it reaches maximum health. That is the only time it will actually jump. It has a 4% chance per tick to increase the healing of Vivify. You don't know what Vivify yet is is yet? We will go back and take a look at it. Um, but Viv Vivify is going to be a new ability, so I'll, I'll come back and touch on renewing this when we get to Vivify, just so you remember. But um, it has a 4% chance per tick of the healing to increase the healing of Vivify. And also, it has no, lo no longer has a limit to the amount of jumps. At least that's what the tooltip says. Uh, I can toss out this, and it will continue to jump to different targets, um, so long as there are targets within range that need healing. Right now it's just sticking on myself because there are no um, targets within range that actually need healing, but once there becomes a target in range that actually needs healing, uh, I'll be able to show it off to you. And why are there nothing but uh, horde monks coming here? I really need an alliance monk to show their face here so that I can actually uh, display some stuff. So, with that, uh, Resuscitate, its cast time has been increased by 0.5 seconds. Not very much there, but just a small thing to notice uh, that you should know. And this is uh, hopefully a human monk, and I can show you guys what's going on here. Rising Sun Kick no longer costs Chi. Uh, so that's kind of the thing, that the recurring theme is that Chi is now gone. Its cooldown has been increased from 8 seconds to 11 seconds, and it no longer Whoa. causes enemies to take increased damage. Instead, it's just straight damage now. That's all it is, okay? So that's something that you should know that you uh, should have to, uh, it's a difference there. Once again, it's like Blackout Kick, they just want you to have the damage there. So, with that, let me go ahead and talk about Soothing Myth. Soothing Myth has insane changes. It is no longer, it is a passive ability now, okay? 
so it no longer will instant cast while uh, you can no longer instant cast abilities while uh, channeling Soothing Mist, okay? So that's the first thing I should say. So any ability that was able to become instant cast through Soothing Mist uh, is no longer going to happen, which kind of makes sense because it's a passive ability now. Now that it's a passive ability, you no longer have that ability to, uh, you know, channel Soothing Mist and then immediately get off an instant cast on something. That's not going to be uh, something that you're able to do anymore. It no longer costs any mana, okay? This activates all the time, no matter what. So, that's something that you're going to have to, uh, it's, 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 it's a really cool passive effect, and we're going to get to it here in a second, and I will show you. Um, this is the main change for Soothing Mist. It's activated by Effuse, which is a new ability also, Enveloping Mist, Vivify, and Life Cocoon. So basically, when I activate these abilities, it will do it. So I can cast, um, go ahead and, oh, I can't even, uh, use this target because he's got, uh, his PvP disabled. Let me see if I can, I can do this. <clears throat> if I can now, uh, heal this person now. Okay, now I can heal this person now. So there's Renewing Mist on this target. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Enveloping Mist on this target. And you're going to see how Soothing Mist works. So right after I use Enveloping Mist, I now automatically use Soothing Mist on the target. It now ticks every 0.5 seconds up from every 1 second. So it's going to tick much more often, uh, at least twice as fast now, at least from what I saw compared to live. It's going to tick twice as fast now than what it used to. And this happens every time you use one of these abilities and I, I can you know change the abilities I use okay it doesn't make a difference every time I use either vivify effuse enveloping mist or life cocoon it will automatically start using soothing mist on the target now I currently have a a talent that allows me to move while using soothing mist but normally you won't be able to move while doing soothing mist so take note of that okay but uh, this is the new way it's a passive okay and they, I believe they've changed the spell effect a little bit. You can now really see the particle effects closer to you, and then the particle effects become less pronounced as it gets closer to the target. The reason for this, I'm guessing, is because it was so easy to pinpoint where the monk healer was when he was using Soothing Mist. That now will no longer be the case. Uh, you'll at least have some distance uh, before people figure out that it's you that you're healing this target. But as you can see here, you know, when I use these other abilities, which we'll get into in new abilities, uh, it will continue to use Soothing Mist on the target. If I were to switch targets to, like, myself, and it's really hard to see this, um, but as you can see right now, I'm actually using Soothing Mist on myself now, as opposed to Mr. Dorasi here. So that is the difference between the two. And do notice that Soothing Mist does stop when you start casting something else. And then once you cast it, it will begin uh, ticking once again on the target. So that's how Soothing Mist has changed. It's very different from the way it used to be. Um, and it really changes the playstyle of a monk. Uh, I honestly think it's better this way. I really didn't like the way they did it before, and so I really like it. Now, if I want it to stop, I just press escape, and it will stop using Soothing Mist on the target. So, uh, think of it as just, you know, once it's on, it's a passive buff, and it lasts for a really long time. Uh, I could not tell you, but the cast bar looked like it lasts like two to three minutes or something. So you can literally sit there for a very, very, very long time and really have no problem just channeling Soothing Mist constantly and having that constant heal on the target. So this is really a big change to how Mistweaver monks will operate in World of Warcraft Legion. Uh... Let's move into the other changes, um, so that we can get to the new abilities, you can see how basically everything rounds out for a Mistweaver Monk. Uh, spinning Crane Kick no longer generates Chi, as I mentioned, Chi has been removed, so that should be obvious. Tiger Palm no longer requires Chi, and it will no longer ignore armor, it's just flat damage, so you have Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, and Rising Sun Kick, all able to just do base damage that you need to, to a target. Very simple there. Transcendence. Its cooldown has been reduced to 10 seconds from 45 seconds. This was an enhancement, so uh, they basically baked it in. Transcendence Transfer no longer has a cast time. That was also an enhancement, so that basically has been baked in as well. But its cooldown has been increased from 20 to 25 seconds. That 
is every single one of the changes that has been brought to a Mistweaver Monk abilities that were already in the game. So there's a lot to go through there, especially with Soothing Mist and the changes there. So with that, let's look into the new abilities. The first one I would like to look at is an ability called Essence Font, which I want to use because I really do want uh, Mr. Dorossi here, or Mrs. Dorossi here, to still be here to use this. It is a new ability called is a channeled ability unless unleashes a rapid twirl of healing bolts at up to six allies within 25 yards every one second for 2.7 seconds. Each bolt heals a target for 27,000 plus an additional 9,000 over six seconds. Gusts of mist will heal affected targets twice. So I'm going to go ahead and use this here. As you can see, I have the orb above my head and it's just constantly targeting Durasi there. I continue to use this over and over again. So this is quick healing in an AoE basis. If I had more targets around me, it would heal them, uh, all the targets around me. Uh, maybe at the end of this video, we will uh, take a, a field trip to Dalaran to show you uh, it hitting multiple targets. But as you can see right here, it's able to kind of go around and, and just constantly heal that target. So that's one of the really cool things about what uh, one of the new abilities that you have to kind of replace the fact that Uplift is no longer available to you. The next new ability is going to be a Fuse. It's a fast, efficient uh, spell healing the target for 48,000. Okay? So it is a quick heal, and it gets Soothing Mist on the target. That's the big thing, is getting Soothing Mist on your target as quickly as possible through a Fuse. Fast, quick heal, um, it replaces, uh, for most of the other specs, it replaces uh, what the other heal used to be, the other quick heal was, and I can't even remember it, but it replaces that heal and it no longer has access to it. Instead, you have a Fuse. You have the new ability called Reawaken, which is, if I can find it right here, Reawaken is kind of the new Mass Resurrection. It is the Monk version of Mass Resurrection. All the healers are getting this now, so no longer... Basically, everyone, every healer has a Mass Resurrection now, or Mass Resurrection type spell. But at the same time, uh, there's no longer a cooldown on it because it's only available to healers. So before anybody could cast it, it used to be a guild ability, then it became an everybody ability with a 10 minute cooldown or whatever it was. And now you have it as a healer only ability, but with no 10 minute cooldown. This is really a quality of life change for raiders, and it's just going to be a nice buff to have. Uh, so that they don't have to worry about, you know, like, hey, did we get a, you know, you can be like, hey, did we get a soul stone on, you know, the Mistweaver? And then be like, yeah, okay, use Reawaken and get everyone up again. So it works just like um, Mass Resurrection did uh, for the other, uh, for everyone else. It's just now on healers only. So, very simple. Thunder Focus D. I did say that this would... Uh, Come back in name, but it's a little bit different. You receive a jolt of energy, empowering your next spell cast. Renewing Mist does not trigger a cooldown. So uh, your Renewing Mist will no longer trigger a cooldown if you use Thunder Focus T. If used, healing will be increased by 200%. Enveloping Mist will be instant cast. Essence Font will be castable while moving. Or Vivify will cost no mana. So that's a lot of options out there with Thunder Focus T. And uh, I would show this to you, but there's an artifact weapon affecting it, and I'll just wait until that time to really show you what Thunder Focus T uh, will do, because the art there's an artifact weapon talent that really kind of, it, it will confuse you unless you see the artifact weapon talent first. With that, let's move to Vivify, so the other new big healing spell you have, which is creates a surge of invigorating mists around the target, healing them and their two nearest injured allies for 69,000. So this is another big AoE heal. So there you go. It's like a burst around Durasi because that was my target right there. And I can continue to use it, as you can see right there. And that is how Vivify. So you have Vivify for AoE healing now, and you have Essence Font for AoE healing now. So Uplift is really being changed. And honestly, I think your AoE healing might, might, I say, might go up in World of Warcraft Legion. And the reason why I say this is because, first off, Renewing Mist did an enormous amount of overhealing because it would jump, but it would only jump to a couple of targets, and then when it, 
when uh, it was overhealing that target, it stayed there, it didn't jump. Now it's going to jump every time it gets to the point where it's overhealing a target, okay? The second thing is that uh, instead of uh, having to make sure that your renewing mist is spread all over the place, and uplift is used uh, with chi, and then making sure you have enough chi for that uplift, instead, you now have both vivify and uh, essence bond to deal a lot of healing over time. Now, essence bond costs a lot, whereas vivify is a little bit cheaper. Um, I'm not quite sure which one's better, mana efficiency or whatnot, but basically, this is what I'm giving you. Vivify looks like it costs a lot for how much healing it is, and that's why the actual um, the Thunder Focus T actually uh, tells it that it has no mana cost. Whereas uh, Essence Bond will be more of a, uh, a, a efficient heal, but it will be something that makes you immobile. So that's something that you're going to have to pay attention to in PvP. With that, let's go ahead and move into Teachings of the Monastery, which is your Tiger Palm causes your next Blackout Kick to strike an additional time, stacking up to three. So let's go ahead and use uh, Tiger Palm uh, three times here. We have three times here, and then we'll use Blackout Kick. There's Double Kick on Blackout Kick. Oh, and it uses it all at once. That's really cool. So I can use it three times and burst up my damage, and then get the three kicks all at once, and it's got kind of a weird uh, double take there. It's kind of weird if you ask me. So, that leaves us with the new Mastery. So Mastery Gift of the Serpent is gone. Now we have Mastery Gusts of Mist. Um, Gusts of Mist was mentioned before in uh, one of the new abilities, and I, I, I'm sorry, but I can't even remember now which ability it was that uh, discussed gusts of miss. <laughs> um, it was quite a while ago. Um, so hopefully I will be able to find it in time uh, before the end of this. But um, before we get into Mastery Gusts of Mist, uh, I did promise you that I would come back to Soothing Mist when I talked about uh, Soothing Mist. Uh, I would come back to Renewing Mist when I talked about Vivify. So each time Renewing Mist heals, it has a 4% chance to increase the healing of your Vivify by 40%, uh, so do not do not forget that there, okay? So, moving into Mastery Gust of Mist, a Fuse, Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist, and Vivify also cause a Gust of Healing of Mist, instantly healing the primary target for 31,000. Um, let me go ahead and just use it on this target and see if there's the, uh, there's the Vivify buff off of Renewing Mist right there. I can't believe I got that. So, Uplifting Trance, your next Vivify causes 40% increased healing. Right there. Um, right off of that. Right there. So, and Gusts of Mist, uh, healed for 62,000 critical on Dorasi. So, Dorasi, Vivified, healed for 97,000, and then healed for an extra 62,000. So, it's a lot of extra healing that you get off of it. Um, so, I'll go ahead and use it again from really far away. There you can see right there. It's pretty strong. So, that is literally everything that is for Mistweaver. That's a lot of changes there. It really changes things up once again. They had to. Um, it's really not their fault. They had to. They had to change how things were working. Uh, and this is what they did to change it. So, uh, these are the changes for a Mistweaver Monk. Um, I personally think this is possibly my new favorite healer now. I just really think it's interesting now. I can't wait to really get out this and try it in more of a, a mass world PvP setting. Uh, I would really like that. Uh, right now, I mean, all I, I have is Battlegrounds to test it on. Um, and I will say, the one Battleground I was in that I... We had a Mistweaver Monk as a healer, and they, they had other... Uh, other lame healers on their team. Uh, we dominated. The Mistweaver Monk was just so strong. So, if you're a Mist Weaver Monk, I think they finally got it right this time around, and I think you'll finally stop seeing such huge changes to your uh, class and your spec um, in the future. At least, at least that's my opinion of it right now. So, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Artifact Weapon. So, the Artifact Weapon's ability is called Shailun's Gift. You draw in all nearby clouds of mist generated by Shailun, healing target absorbed 44,000 per cloud absorbed. So this really bothered me, because I could not figure out 
how these clouds were formed. It did not say. Nothing told me anything on how these clouds were formed. Uh, eventually, I had to go online and do some research. Uh, hopefully, they fixed the tool chip so it makes more sense. These clouds are formed about, I think, once every 10 seconds while you're in combat. So I've been uh, constantly trying to hit these bags every once in a while to make sure I stay in combat. And you see these little green puddles? Um, these sparkling puddles. There's one right to my right here. Or I should say right in front of my character right here on the opposite side of the training bag. I'll move to the right here so you can actually see it. Uh, there's also one by this lady in, in pink and purple. It just jumped up and down. It disappeared actually right by her. Um, it's because I'm constantly creating new mists. Uh, a lot of them are back behind uh, in the grass here. These are the little clouds. You can't walk over them for anything. It doesn't do anything. It just supports Shailun's vid. And what you do is you draw in all nearby clouds and mist generated by Shailun, healing the target for 44,000 per target absorbed. So I'm going to use it on, I'm going to see if I can actually use it on Dorasi. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use this here. I'm going to use it, I'm going to pull my wand in, and it's going to drag all of them to me, and then it will heal Dorasi right there. So Shaylin's gift with 12 of those little mists up healed her for 529,000. That's massive! Her health bar is 1.4 million, so I healed her for a third of her health bar. Uh, just to put it into perspective, uh, Vivify heals her uh, before Soothing Mist kills out my my bar. Vivify healed for about 100, and, like with double with the double you have right there, the Vivify healing me, and then the Vivify healing her. Vivify healed her for 69,000. And then Gusts of Mist, because she was the primary target, got an extra uh, 31,000 out of it. So, that was pretty cool. But, uh, I mean, compared to what Gus can do, uh, Shailun's Gift can do, it, it's uncomparable. It's just really good. And I'm thankful that, um, m thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Dorasi, for waiting until I had finished explaining all of that before you left, because that was the last thing that I really needed someone else to stay here for, and thankfully, uh, that was able, I was able to show you everything. So... With that, let's go ahead and look at the artifact weapon here uh, for a monk. It's called Shailun, Staff of the Mists. Um, we've seen Shailun's gift, so let's begin to go through the talent tree. I'll start in the bottom, uh, in the south here, and I'll go north from there. First, we have Mists of Wisdom, increases all healing done by 3%, one rank. This will be the first one you get. Uh, pretty lame ability. It looks like it's something that's there so that they can tune Mistweaver separately if they need to. You have, uh, going to the left, you have Soothing Remedies. Increases healing done by Soothing Mist by 10%. That'll be 3 ranks, so that'll be 3, 7, and 10. Or 3, 6, and 10. Uh, over here, we have Essence of the Mist. Increases the healing done by Essence Font by 15%. That'll be 5% per rank. We have Spirit Tether. Your Transcendent Spirit reduces movement speed of nearby enemies by 40%. That's awesome! That's so cool! Oh, we have another monk here, if I if I needed uh, another target here. Hopefully, maybe another uh, monk will come in and I'll be able to show Essence Fonts a little bit better. Anyways, sidetrack, sorry. Um, that is really cool. So basically, I use my Transcendence, which is Instant Cast. This will now snare everyone around it. That's really cool. Uh, I, it doesn't give you an AoE on it. It doesn't tell you uh, like how far it spreads. Uh, it says 40%, and it's three ranks, so I'm really not sure uh, how much you'll get per rank. Uh, but nonetheless, that's pretty cool. Um, so that is, uh, uh, mind you, I go through these generally about the same time you do, the artifact weapon powers. And that's because uh, I go through and I check out the elite ones really quickly, so I make sure you know when to show them. But the other ones are always just base damage uh, buff types things. So when there's ever there's something really cool like that in there... Uh, that's why I get excited. So, we have Way of the Mistweaver. Uh, 3 of 3 increases healing done by enveloping mist by 10%. So that's 3, 7, 10, 3, 6, or 10, whichever way. We have Light on Your Feet. Channeling Essence Font for its full duration increases your movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. So, we'll go ahead and show that off here. Channel, 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 channel. And then I can move faster for 3 seconds. So that's pretty cool. We have Infusion of Life, increases the healing done by Vivify by 15%. Uh, 
that'll be five percent per rank, so uh, a little bit, uh, three ranks, five percent per rank. We have a Shroud of Mist, reduces all damage you take by ten percent while you are channeling Soothing Mist, which you pretty much are always channeling Soothing Mist as a Mistweaver monk, especially if you have the talent that allows you to move. We have a Dancing Mists. Renewing Mist has a 10% chance to immediately spread to an additional target when initially cast or when traveling to a new target. So that really ups the amount of spread you have on this and really kind of adds to the fact that I really feel that you'll get more AoE healing out of a Mistweaver Monk than you will uh, otherwise. Uh, we have Mists of Life over here. Life Cocoon applies Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist to the target. So that's uh, really a nice buff for Life Cocoon, and basically just puts a ton of heals on them. The first epic we have in the middle here is Mists of Shailun. Your healing spells have a chance to awaken Shailun, increasing your healing over time by 20% for 10 seconds. When this effect ends, Shailun releases a wave of mist that heals all allies within 15 yards for, for 44,000. So I honestly, this is actually proc several times, and it, it's actually really difficult for me to get it to proc and I will try to get it to proc again, but it basically is a massive um, explosion around uh, myself on the target that just heals everyone. Um, I will try and get it to happen. Uh, I'm not going to try for too long because I don't want to waste your time, but uh, it is a powerful ability to have, and uh, it has exploded a few times around me. It's just been a massive burst, uh, so uh, it doesn't look like I'm... I'm able to get it. I'm doing the healing over time effects. Uh, I have Soothing Mist and uh, my, uh, my, uh, what you call it, my uh, Soothing Mist both count as healing over time effects. Uh, with both of them on, uh, I should be able to get it. I'll just sit here and maybe we'll see the explosion uh, after a while. We have Coalescing Mist. Increases the healing done by your FUs by 10%, so it'll be 3, 7, and 10 on the ranks, or 3, 6, and 10 on the ranks. We have Protection of the Shao Ao. Oh my gosh, I pronounced that wrong. Um, I'm, I'm not even going to try again. Uh, <laughs> three ranks increases the damage absorbed by Life Cocoon by 15%, so that'll be 5% per rank. We have in the middle here Extended Healing increases the duration of your Renewing Mist by 3 seconds. So you already have the buff of 2 seconds that is baseline, uh, bringing in that uh, enhancement from World of Warcraft Legion. And then on top of that, you have another three seconds on top of it, so you have a total of you have a total of 23 seconds on how long uh, on how long renewing mess lasts. Lastly, we get to uh, these last two epic portraits up here. We have Celestial Breath, activating Thunder Focus T causes you to excel a breath, exhale a breath of Yule on. Healing up to 6 allies within 12 yards for 59,000 over 3 seconds. So let me show this to you. This is why I didn't want to show Thunder Focus T. I'm actually going to pull this out of the way so you can see better. And there we go. I just got to... I, I just kind of... I don't even know. It's like I belch out all of the healing there. So that's really cool. And we have the burst healing of Vivify here that costs no mana. As you can see, I still have pretty silly range on Renewing Mist there, which is awesome. And then the last artifact here... Uh, is going to be Blessings of Yulon, which activating Revival, activating Revival, summons the Spirit of Yulon, healing all Revival targets for an initial 30% of the Revival's heal over 30 seconds. So, really nice uh, option that they also have there um, for you to use. I'm going to go ahead and use it right here. You can see Revival, and you're going to see the dragon just pop up over me. And that's the extra heal you get out of it right there. Really, I like all of the epic uh, portraits for a uh, Shay Loon Snap in the Mist. That's rare that that happens, but that's definitely the case on this one here. So, that's pretty exciting. That's everything for um, World of, uh, I should say, uh, the changes to Mistweaver Monk in World of Warcraft Legion. I'm really happy with these changes to Mistweaver Monk. I think... Uh, Mistweaver Monk finally have a spot that they can be comfortable with. Uh, I don't think we will see them change drastically like this again in the future, because each expansion they've been changed drastically. They just can't get it right, and so I think this time they finally learned their Blood DK lesson, or Death Knight lesson in general, and uh, they're no longer going to try that hybridized stuff, and they're basically just sticking that on uh, Discipline Priest now. So, uh, 
I really do like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, in the next video, we'll be looking at the PvE and PvP talents. Hopefully, I will still have guinea pigs here at the Temple of Five Dawns for me to use. Because uh, there are a couple of talents that I'm going to need to show off on them. Otherwise, that is everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tearless out.